So my job asked me to come back to work during the pandemic. How's it going guys? It's your favorite entrepreneur, Elder Tony Williams. I'm a real estate investor and a real estate agent and I post content almost every single week here on the channel. If it's your first time, welcome. I highly recommend that you go to the beginning of the channel, watch every single video from beginning to end because each video gives you knowledge on business, investing, and finance. With that, let's get into the video. So my job asked me to come back to work during the pandemic. Uh, if you don't know, I made a video about me actually getting laid off from my job when hitting salesman of the month. If you don't know, I'm a car sales rep or was a car sales rep at the time. Uh, and they actually laid me off due to the pandemic and the slowdown in the industry. They laid off about half the staff, which I wasn't upset with because I had already had my real estate license and was in a position to transition full time into doing real estate. I was doing real estate as an investor, but I was like, hey, I might as well jump in and actually help people buy and sell homes and also help my friends buy a rental property. So that's why I decided to go ahead and get my real estate license. And then I just seen it as an opportunity to invest more in myself than instead of working for someone else. So I had actually got laid off towards the end of April as a car sales rep. Uh, it was the last day of the month. They called me in the office, like say due to the slowdown during the pandemic time, they had to let me go, which I was totally fine with. I was like, more time investing in real estate, more time helping people buy real estate and helping my friends buy real estate as well. So I took it on a chin, came home and just started grinding as far as on my personal business and buying equipment that I needed. And also trying to put out more real estate videos for you guys as well, seeing as that an opportunity, seeing that as an opportunity to spend more time on YouTube. So one of the most beautiful things about being laid off during the pandemic is I'm not putting my family at risk. Uh, I almost never go outside the house. I was ordering everything online, groceries, all of that was coming directly to the house. So I wasn't exposed as much as I will be uh, being a car sales rep. And I must say my Call of Duty skills have increased dramatically during this pandemic. I've been 360 no scoping guys out of the sky like it's nothing, uh, but I'll save that for, for another video. And another great thing about actually being laid off during the pandemic is the money that you receive from unemployment by them putting an the extra $600 boost on unemployment, which, which is insane, I might add, uh, I didn't have any worries for the future. Not only did I have an emergency fund saved up because eventually I was going to transition full time into real estate at some point in my life. Uh, so not only did I have the emergency fund saved up, I was also getting paid a crazy amount to be able to focus on what I really wanted to do and that's create crazy, create great content and invest in real estate. So the whole May, I'm grinding. I am grinding. I'm doing Facebook ad campaigns, uh, Instagram campaigns. I'm doing snail mail campaigns to actually ramp up my real estate business from where it was currently. And I was just 10xing, Grant Cardone, 10xing uh, that, that, that uh, part of my life. And I so happened towards the end of May, get a call from my dealership. Now, I was just going to say, hey, straight up, possibly don't want to come back uh, just due to the fact I was starting to ramp up my real estate career. Uh, and I was I was on a groove uh, also putting out consistent videos on the YouTube. Uh, but what they offered me wasn't a sales position. It was actually a finance administrator role, a.k.a finance manager. If you don't know much about the automotive sales career, the finance manager position is one of the most sought after positions uh, when you're coming from a sales person just due to the fact that the income potential is just so much more and you have so much more opportunity to be in front of customers. Uh, other than that, it'd be like a GM role, GSM role, or just a, a manager in general. But a lot of guys love the finance office just because of the income potential you can have. And this was something I always wanted to do is be a finance manager at a dealership. And to put the income potential into perspective, my last coworker who was a finance manager built a $1.6 million glass house from the ground up. Now, I'm not saying that I need to be that extreme, but you get my drift on the income potential this position offers. So this changed 
everything from what I thought was gonna happen to what actually happened. Uh, when I was offered that, I actually went into the dealership, sat down, spoke with my GM and GSM, and really went over the position because I couldn't believe that I was actually offered a position like this inside the dealership. So what did I do? I took it. Now, the reason I took this position is because I feel as if I can still work as a finance manager and produce extremely good content for YouTube and also invest in real estate and help people and my friends buy homes and invest for them their own portfolios. Uh, yes, it's gonna be a grind. Yes, it's gonna be a lot of work, but I really wanna put myself up to the challenge of really being able to succeed at all levels, not only in the automotive industry, but also in the real estate industry and YouTube space as well. I know it's a lot of you out there that's making extremely good money while being laid off during the pandemic, but I do want you to think that this may only last a short period of time. So if you are offered your job to come back, you might want to accept that role if you're not doing any kind of side hustles to make money in the meantime. Even if it's paying less, just due to the fact, like I said, it's not gonna last forever. So you still wanna jump back into employment until you can build your side business, which I always talk about in this YouTube channel. Make sure you hit like, comment, and subscribe for more, uh, uh, more information on actually building your side business so you can eventually jump onto your side business and leave your job. But remember, the unemployment isn't gonna last forever. And this is something I had to take into account. Even though I had six months worth of saving, what if I wasn't able to bring in enough profit for my real estate investing, which I do have a nice amount of properties, which I can bring in a nice amount of money, but hey, what if half my tenants decide to stop paying rent? None of them have, but what if? I wouldn't even have enough money to, to try to sustain all of that for a whole year. Possibly six months, maybe close to a year, but if half my tenants stop paying, I wouldn't be able to support that for a whole year. So I said, hey, let me jump back into the automotive industry, learn the skills that I really wanted to learn as far as automotive finance, and then still be able to produce great content on top of investing in real estate and helping people purchase homes and rental properties for themselves. Hey, if you like this quick video, make sure you hit like, comment, and subscribe. I will be posting more content like this and many others on investing business and finance. Like always, see you in the next video.